Okay guys, this is another video brought to you from johnsjava.webs.com. Today we're going to be learning how to use arrays and array lists. So First thing we're going to do is set up our class and you can see the name of the class apparently so here's what arrays and array lists are for they're for storing a lot of information organized so let me show you let's say I, ha I have well I want to input 10 names and I'm going to be able to access them very quickly with a loop. So I can create an array and notice this symbol here. Notice that args is actually an array. Names. It's the parameter of the main method. So string array names equals new string array of size 10. Okay. This is your way to create arrays. You might notice that this is familiar, but names is actually not an object. It's an array. There's a difference. Um, Okay, so I've taught you the video on user input. Scanner keyboard equals scanner system.in. Um, and now let's use a loop. While, well, let's use a for loop. So we're going to start at zero and count up to nine. Uh, names i equals four dot next dot next line. Okay, so keyboard dot next line. That is going to give us a string, and you see this here, names i. So, this is a big array. Well, not really. It's actually kind of small. Uh, you can access any part of the array and just use it as a variable. Any part. So, this is names part i. And it's going to start at zero. Notice that there is going to be no names 10. It only goes from 0 to 9. For some reason, Java starts counting at 0. Just to confuse you. Um, <laughs> so, we'll have our names. And now, well, let's, actually, let's actually make this 5. 5. System.out.println. Oh, we'll make another loop. We'll print out the names. But get names dot i and um. Oh, we'll do the the length of the name. So, what is the 
method for that. Oh, names i dot length. Compiling, compiling. Scanner. Oh, it's very important. I forgot to import. utility package. Uh, we'll run this. And you see it prompts me for user input. First name is going to be John David uh, Sam Nick and Caitlin. Let's see. John is four characters long. David is five. Sam is three. Nick is four. Caitlin is six. Okay. So you see it's a very useful way to input data. But now what if you have more than just that than just five names or more importantly, what if you don't know how many names you have? You can't change the number of names in a, you can't change the number of items in an array. And that's where 